Welcome back everyone, you Mutator here. It's game number two in the uh, elimination round two. Uh, of, in the match between Donsky and Zach. So this is Donsky's team here. It's there, he's basically starting on the southwest. Gosh, I can hardly speak. But uh, yes, here he is. Uh, Zach's team going to be in the northeast. And this is it here. It's, uh, I think it's the Barons is the name of this map. Game two, Donsky's team is up one game to zero. Uh, on Donsky's team, we got uh, Kruniak, Osmodian uh, substituting, I believe. Case size, Browning, Master Chief, and Milkman. So pretty good team, I'd say, all in all. Actually, every team is pretty good um, when all is said and done. As uh, they would probably, they would probably destroy lesser teams. Um, you know, especially just random teams of people that don't even know how to play. But uh, anyway, this is uh, this is going to be uh, Donsky's team here. Zach's team going to be starting up up here. He's got Drunken Vantobia. Uh, Zach's team is really interesting because he traded a couple players early on <clears throat> and picked up a lot of deer players. So he's got um, Sasper, Vantobia, and Drunken. So that's like almost that's like over a third of his team are deer players. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, he's also got Wayward One, uh, Shadow, who's actually a lot better than I thought he was. Um, <clears throat> turns out Shadow can play. He's a token player from Russia, I believe. Uh, I don't know who these two players are. One of them is Homer, and one of them is I don't know who. But I don't know who is who. Um, so let's look at these trades and see what's going on. Donsky's team got off to a rough start as uh, I think they were 8th out of eight teams coming out of the QR and uh, they managed to you know slip ahead in the uh, and take the take the match in their first uh, elimination round uh, match and uh, here they are in their second elimination round match facing uh, facing off against Zach's team uh, who as of this moment um, is undefeated they won all of their QR matches so they're actually sitting pretty good um, they they aren't number one seed they're number two seed which I think is pretty interesting and the reason for that is because despite uh, winning all their matches they had fewer um, games won than Giant Killer General's team who is the number one seed coming into this uh, coming into the ER I'm not going to be able to, <laughs> to uh, see all this chat that's just way too much for me to follow right now um, but yeah like I said let's look at these uh, these trades it looks like a one thrall here six goals uh, three of these guys four of those guys max archers Game on and four it looks like four whites here instead of three and only eight archers but uh, four of these guys four Morts, and when I say these guys, I mean warlocks. Um, and no thrall. Looks like uh, eleven or so warriors. So I don't know. Is that same amount of warriors or not? Uh, yeah, it's eleven wa warriors. I don't know if that's the maximum or not. But um, so it looks like uh, Zach's team has one extra, one extra mortar. A couple of fewer. So maybe like four fewer archers or m or more. They only had eight, right? So that's six. Yeah, four fewer archers and maybe like an extra goal or two. And yeah, it's going to be basically it. I don't know if I'm missing anything or not. Oh, and actually they have some extra pus, I believe. So Zach's team taking a gamble here on those pus. And when I say pus, for all of you not in the know, it's basically when you heal your white, uh, it melts into a bunch of little pieces, and you pick up the two largest Flag pieces, captured. and they uh, they freeze units and do damage with your goals. You pick them up with your goals. They run around. They're like skirmisher harassing type units. They throw that. They <laughs> they basically lob the pus packet. It explodes more often than not, and does uh, damage and and freezes units in place for a short duration. Um, in during which you can actually finish them off with your range units. So it's it's a, it's a gamble because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't actually work, sometimes it misses. So uh, it's a little bit unpredictable because the physics in this game is uh, somewhat unpredictable. But uh, uh, it's usually it's worth it. Usually it does a lot of damage. So here we got uh, Donsky 
case size with the uh, with the warlocks here in the mid. Last man on the hill, so that's going to be the one uh, place for uh, for the flag area to be. Not a whole lot of damage going off as of yet, but uh, a lot of running around, basically just poking at each other. A little bit of slight damage on that warlock, which is uh, significant actually. Although I believe there are some heals, yeah, two heals remaining on that journeyman, three on this one. And it looks like uh, Kruniak going to be squaring off with, uh, well, he's got Browning on his side. He's going to be going up against Jenny on the block here, who really needs to be careful. This is not going to be good. Jenny on the block trying to 1v2 these units. Although he's doing okay so far. <laughs> Uh, because uh, Browning took some friendly fire damage on himself. Oh, and Zach moving in. He's going to be able to take out probably that archer there, so that's going to work out for him. Jenny on the block, though. Be careful. Oh, dear. Is it going to be worth it? No, probably not. Oh, nice dodge. Actually managing to, to come out ahead so far in the exchange. Needs to be careful, though. Zach needs to be careful as well. He's probably going to lose that Mortar Dwarf. And yeah, duds there. So Zach losing that Mortar Dwarf didn't really do his team a whole lot of good so far, but uh, that's okay. Other stuff, we got this exchange going down here. Shadow uh, moving against Osmo. So that's going to be an interesting battle here. We also have uh, uh, some more stuff. Looks like Drunken trying to do a flank maneuver on Osmo. So that's going to be something to look out for. Master Chief has archers. He's going to be dueling with Where Are You Adren. Another Warlock shot going off. Doesn't really do much. And here we go. Drunken's going to be firing. Is he going to be able to snipe this Warlock? Nope. Not able to get up over the rocks. Nice. <laughs> nice there. Shadow actually shooting the tree. That was kind of a waste. Master Deer sending out that warrior. Probably going to lose it. And he does. Although, there's that pus moving in. Needs to be careful. Where are you, Adrian? Trying to snipe it. Going to damage it, but not kill it. And a lot of stuff going up, going on over here. Kruniak, it looks like. Uh, Jenny on the block. Trying to snipe that, but uh, Browning actually able to hold his own. Jenny on the block doing a pretty good job 1v2ing one these guys. Um, Browning and Kruniak are actually, uh, we're both on the Southern Parkings team, the uh, champion remaining. team of the Myth World Cup of 2012. So um, both being on a flank, probably going to do well against a single player. But uh, surprisingly, Jenny from the block doing pretty okay. If that's Homer, then that's interesting because Homer was also on the same team. I'm going to get rid of that for now. And just go into visual mode. Looks like uh, Donsky going to be leading the charge, although he needs to be careful that he doesn't get sniped there. He's going to use the tree to his advantage and try to... Oh, no, he does get sniped, but he is going to try to do some damage here. He doesn't, so that was not worth it. Uh, now Zach's team is going to be in the lead, despite taking that damage there. Kruniak... Uh, basically taking that down. But it looks like he is going to be sniped here. Oh, he manages to block that pus with the well-placed lock shot. So that worked out really well for him. Another warlock goes down. So it looks like Osmo was able to snipe. Um, what was that? Drunken's warlock. So all of a sudden, the pendulum swings back into Donsky's favor. <coughs> despite the fact that, uh, you know, a couple of, couple of uh, poor decisions there. Donsky losing that that Warlock on the offensive there. Could have been avoided, but uh, Osmo doing pretty okay. Master Chief might lose. Nope. He's going to hang on to that for now. Looks like Drunken, though, did get pussed. And he's going to be chased out of there, although he might lose his Warriors. Ooh. Doing a little bit of damage. Nice shot there. That was a Wayward 1 getting a kill. He has two now on that Warlock. Uh, but Shadow is here to take Drunken's place. So Shadow's going to put the pressure on. It's still really close. It's close to being tied here. 
And Jenny on the block, still alive. This is incredible. Um, has two kills on that on that freaking mortar. So, I don't know. I guess, uh, did Kruniak lose that Warlock? I don't know. Not quite sure. Jenny on the block, probably going to lose his melee here, which would not be good. But they are going to try to trap Kruniak between Sasper and Jenny, so they're gonna do like a something like a rush. Two and a half minutes remain. Nice shot there, Jenny on the block getting his revenge, although needs to be careful with Browning here. Flag contested. As these units probably gonna be taken out by these archers, these melee units here. Flag gonna punch captured. it. Jenny on the block managing to, to finish the Flag job. Very contested. nice. And Donsky's team actually looking not too good all of a sudden as uh, they were put in a Pretty poor position Contested. as uh, they lose a couple more units. So 52 to 39 percent, about two minutes remain. A couple fire arrows going down. And it looks like it's going to be, where are you, Adren? Referring to Adrenaline, I presume. Master Chief and Milkman dueling it. And Wayward One going to move in with his Warlock to try to do some damage. So it looks like mid, I would say Donsky still has the advantage. But... This is something to w worry about. This flank here basically cleaned up Browning and Kruniak, so Jenny on the block poised to do a lot of damage with that flank. And also this flank here, Shadow. If Shadow engages, he can likely uh, likely really hurt Donsky's team. But he needs to do something. He needs to move really soon. I would say lead with that warrior and just push on Osmo. Sacrifices that warrior. One minute. Remaining. Another fire arrow going down. Wait, why did you, why did you heal that? I don't know why K size healed that archer. That was his last heal. Osmo is going to be pushed back, but by missing there, Shadow is going to be pushed back himself. He is going to block with that warrior, loses it. Osmo going to send his own warrior, so that's looking pretty good, but. Probably going to lose it there. Contested. And he needs seconds. to move in. Oh! Flag captured. Interesting shots going down here from both these players. It looks Flag like Sasper contested. lost an archer some, somewhere along the line. This is getting pretty intense because Donsky is trying to hold uh, its own here. Losing archers one by one, though, is not good. Wayward one getting, an, getting off another shot. Not able to connect, though. Looks like Shadow moving in. He's going to be able to get off another shot, but nope, doesn't connect. Just scaring the units, changing their position, getting them to turn around. That's actually going to work out pretty okay. Um, does take out that one. Oh, no. <laughs> nice shot there. Jenny from the block doing a lot of damage this game. That was the fifth kill on that one unit. Um, so Shadow's going to move in. Can he do something? He is going to try to... Oh. Doesn't matter because uh, Donsky's team just has so few units remaining at this point in time that uh, in the uh, in the battle they were just forced off the flag. So Zach's team was able to come back, take game number two. So this is actually a pretty close match, I'd say, so far. Each team with one game apiece. Uh, looks like Jenny from the block doing a uh, just a really doing really well here. It's ten kills, sixty nine damage. Ten kills is going to be the most on on the entire team. I'd say Jenny from the block MVP this game. Um, just from my observations so far. Where are you? Adren, though, 103 damage. That's going to be um, the most out of possibly anybody in this game. So where are you? Adren cannot be discounted either. Um, and the rest of the team, I guess, holding its own. Wayward one not doing all that much damage uh, when all is said and done. And Zach not doing all that much either. Although, uh, you know, the thing is with a lot of captains, they don't take a lot of units usually. Um, that's not always the case. Uh, Gen Giant Killer General, of course, uh, usually takes a lot of units, and he's able to use them effectively just because he's a fast player. Um, and there's probably more to it as well. Um, very interestingly, Von Tobia do didn't really do anything at all. Didn't quite notice that at first, but uh, yeah, these teams are pretty close. Uh, looks like uh, Donsky's team, nobody really, s yeah, nobody really uh, sticks out. Looks like everyone did uh, just about the same. You know, nice damage spread. I mean, it spread out somewhat evenly, but 
um, yeah, they just succumbed in the end to just the, the flanks. You can really see how having uh, units on flanks can work to your advantage. Like, usually when I'm in a game, and this is, you know, something that I know that I usually can't win in a straight one-on-one. -on -one. So I try to get a surround. You know, I try to work my way around the enemy. And a lot of the time, this doesn't work to my advantage. Like, a lot of the time, I get separated and isolated and then <laughs> destroyed uh, in kind of a divide-and-conquer scenario. But, uh, like, you know, this happened to me just last night. I think I played a couple of games. And I had a, a, a dwarf, and I was trying to sneak him around to do some damage. And then I got... Um, basically, I got rushed and killed while the rest of my team was like over here. Some this was on a different map, but this is you know, <laughs> just a illustration. The rest of my team was not able to come help me out, so I you know I get separated. But if you have like your own little uh, you know self-sufficient force, you can actually do a lot of damage <clears throat> because you can force the enemy to to fight on more than one front, and that usually works to your advantage. So that's kind of what happened here in the end of the game, at least as uh, both flanks were won for Zach's team and they were able to triangulate on Donsky's position and basically force him off the flag and uh, basically take him out when all is said and done. So that's going to be it for game number two. Uh, yeah, stick around and we'll see what happens in game number three coming up next.